conditions to be treated as warranty. Now, in many cases, uh, a lot of times what happens is buyers choose to treat the breach of condition as a breach of warranty. Why? Because they do not want to cancel the contract. They do not want to return the goods. They do not want the price of the goods back. They only want that the loss that they have incurred should be compensated. So in such a case, what the buyer does is he does not cancel the contract. He does not treat the breach of condition as a breach of condition. He treats the breach of condition as a breach of warranty because in case of breach of warranty, only the loss is compensated. And if they want only the loss to be compensated, they might choose to treat the breach of condition as a breach of warranty. I mean, you know, where the seller does not want to part, uh, rather the buyer does not want to part away with the goods. He wants to use the goods. He does not want the price of the goods back. He only wants to get the loss compensated. He may choose to treat the breach of condition as a breach of warranty. So now, what are the cases when a condition will be considered as a warranty. The first case is where the buyer waives the performance of the condition. The buyer himself is telling that the condition that he had given is no longer required to be performed. So now whatever breach of any stipulation that would be would be a breach of warranty only because conditions performance is taken away, taken out of the picture. So now he is no longer required to perform whatever the condition was. So now what will happen is even if that condition is not performed, it will be treated as a breach of warranty and not as a breach of condition. Second, buyer treats breach of condition as warranty he himself chooses let's say the seller did not have the title to the goods so he said it's okay i'll not give you the goods back you don't give me the price back you only pay for the losses let's say the goods do not match to the sample he tells the seller that okay i'm i'm keeping the goods i do not want the price of the goods back you just pay me the difference in the value of the goods. The goods that you've given me are of a lower quality. So pay me the difference. So this is, you know, uh, dependent upon the buyer. He may choose to treat the breach of condition as breach of warranty. Third, when the contract is not separable, and the buyer has accepted the whole or part of the goods. The contract is not separable. Let's say you wanted concrete. Now concrete is a mixture of sand and cement and possibly clay. So you wanted concrete. So you went to a supplier of concrete, gave him the order and then he supplied you concrete. So, you know, you use that concrete for construction. So after two or three deliveries, you found out that the cement in the concrete is not of a higher grade. It is of the lower grade. You had contracted for a higher grade. Now, is this contract separable? Can you say, okay, I will accept the sand, I will accept clay, but I will not accept the cement. Especially when you have accepted the part delivery, he had delivered it earlier, you've already used it for construction. Can you reject the goods now? No, you cannot reject. So now what will happen is, the condition that you had given him, that the cement should be of the higher grade, now gets converted into a warranty. Now, if that term, that stipulation is breached, it will be treated as a breach of warranty and not as a breach of condition. When? When the contract is not separable 
and the buyer has already accepted some part or the whole of delivery. Fourth, when excused by law for impossibility. Now in this case, you know, you contracted for a cement of 60 grade. Now 53 is the last grade of cement that you get. So the seller told you, okay, I'll supply you 60 grade cement. So he supplied you the cement, you checked and you saw that it's only 53 grade cement. So now what will happen is the breach of condition will be treated as a breach of warranty. Here the condition has been breached, yet it will be treated as a breach of warranty because law will say a cement of 60 grade is impossible, it is not made. So he cannot supply. So whatever loss you have incurred on that account, you can recover, but you cannot return the goods back. Though it was a specific condition, this was the term on which the contract was based. Getting my point? No, because it is impossible. Law assumes it to be impossible. So it may allow the buyer and the seller to you know, treat the breach of condition as a breach of warranty.